Hey, I just want to make a video about my channel, kind of telling you what I'm going to be doing and what I like doing. Uh, obviously, it's just going to be fishing in creeks and basically any kind of uh, fishing holes, but mainly small creeks and streams where people don't think to fish under bridges on main roads or out in the country anywhere. Um, when I'm fishing in the creeks and stuff, usually I'm going to carry me a little uh, small tire walks I can stick in my pocket. Got several different things in there. One of my favorite lures which I talk about a lot, is the Rebel Crick Hover. And I've got several different ones. Got the yellow one here. And this one here is a green one that's small. And I got a larger one. I think I got another one too. Um, these are really good for creeks and shallow water because they're just natural food that fish would eat. When it hits the water, it floats. When you reel it, it wiggles and you can jerk it and pop it and stuff. And, it stays uh, pretty much on top of the water, maybe a couple inches under. But I'll carry my little tire box. Uh, you know, usually I'm gonna have a GoPro strapped on my chest. Um, five gallon bucket, a lot of times, so I can throw stuff in there, scale, uh, worms, whatever I'm gonna be using. Um, usually, I like this, this here's my new fishing pole just bought. Nothing fancy, the pole costs $10, real costs like 30, uh, a little fluger, and um, it, uh, it's just got six pound mono cheap line on it. Um, it's five and a half foot medium action where I can stick it in little places because usually on uh, where I'm trying to go is going to be limbs and branches and stuff all in the way. And uh, also I don't like when I use too expensive lines I'm going to be breaking it off a lot. Um, so I'm going to show a couple little videos about just some stuff, just some creeks I've been to recently and um, hopefully you like it. I like fishing the creeks and streams that I go to because it's usually where people don't think to go and it's not fished a lot when you uh, cast into a deep hole and um, for the first time you maybe you sneak up on the creek, cast in there and the fish attack it really hard, it's fun. Sometimes there's some good sized fish in there, you know, if I get a two pound fish, that's a big fish for me to catch out of a creek. Most times they're about three or four inches long, stuff like that, but it's a good variety. Um, sometimes I go places that don't catch anything. Sometimes I go places and it's really surprising. That's what it's uh, what's fun about it because it's the the adventure about it. I like to think I'm the you know the Jeremy Wade of creek fishing, except I don't go anywhere dangerous and I don't know much about fishing. At my last spot here, I've thrown thrown several different lures in here, and I had a couple bites, couldn't catch anything. First cast with the Rebel Creek Hopper, which is one of my favorites, and I caught a nice little Coosa bass. Got a little belly on him. This is the smaller creek hopper, the yellow one. There's a few different colors, but uh, I really like these, especially for creeks. My probably my favorite uh, fishing lure for creeks and stuff. Second cast, second fish. That's funny. That's why you get a. That's why I always bring a few and mix it up, keep changing up stuff. Caught a bunch of them off minnows earlier, but I ran out of minnows. Uh, got a nice green sunfish. Oh, there's another one. I saw him come and get it. Third cast, third fish. And it's bluegill, a different fish. This is why I like creek fishing right here. You never know what's gonna bite. There, you know, obviously these aren't huge fish and this is a little bluegill, but I enjoy catching stuff no matter what it is, especially when you're casting out lures and they're coming up and attacking it. Little bluegill there. <laughs> Got a little bass. I use a little piece of bacon. I was I could see the bacon in the water. All of a sudden it disappeared, so I jerked on it. And one took it. Just a little one. There's uh several bass in here. There's a little uh creek where uh the water's kinda blocked off and they have to kinda get trapped in there. Hey, 
Hey, what's going on? Xavier! What are you doing? I'm about to catch a big fish. Fishing. I just caught a whole bunch of them up the up the road. I uh, I never fished in this part here, Whoa. but is that a fish? well, I'm gonna use it to catch a bigger fish. Hopefully, if there's anything in here to take it. Um, I got some minnows in the bucket there. You can look at. Oh, oh that hurts! I didn't even know it was you. I didn't even hear y'all. Too busy trying to catch stuff. Have you been in a fishing tournament? No, I never did no fishing tournament. I just catch little fish. Is that the new fish I got? Yes, yeah, this one I got the other day. It's kind of short, where it's so I can get, move it in and get it places. Um, down there, where um, I'll let him go. Maybe it'll live, or something will eat it. I, I'm gonna go to um, over at Gold Gym and Starbucks. Is there's a lot of fish in that area. That's a good place to fish. And like the, the there, green way. Like a, where there's like an old tree, and there's a lot down there. We yeah. Is there a deep hole down there? Yeah. I'll go down there. We'll go check it out. Okay. Right. show me where it's at. I'm going to bring my bike to my bike. I'm going to get my fishing tackle box. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh. oh, yeah. Xavier's on a video falling in the creek. Yeah. yeah. Creek fishing adventures. How many I got left in there? Not very many. There's about five or six. No, you, gotta, you, drop, drop the you, thing. Be easy. you gotta scoop them up. You have big head. Too. Yeah, that helps. All right, we'll hook him in the back so when that fish eats it, he'll get bite. All right, it's your last chance, little fish, to me to catch you. We'll sit down this time. That'd be surprising. Huh? I'd be uh, surprised. I may have to go on. I think I may try to climb across over there on the other side. Is that what y'all said y'all did? Yeah, I'd always stand Who who got on the uh? Oh, right over there. there. Oh. It was it way, was way it, it was at the end of this road, at the end of the Bort Avenue, where the woods are. Yeah, I caught a bluegill down there. We just what up? What up? Fake, fake, fake bait. Yeah, fake bait. I caught it with fake bait and then caught it. Yes! Yeah. Got it. Ha! Oh, really oh my god! Finally got him. It took a little while. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, I like catching these. Wait. You know what kind of bass this is? No. This is a Kusa bass. That's, that's keep what I it. caught. Keep yeah, keep I may it. take him home or something. He's pretty good yeah, size. Are you put him in there? Well, yeah, I'm getting all kinds of stuff today. I switched to the rooster tail and cast it about five minutes and caught a crappie. I'm getting a good variety of fish out of the creek today, right by my house. I've probably been fishing for about a hour or so and caught five or six fish. Feel free to comment and tell me what you think or what I said wrong, did wrong, described wrong. Obviously I'm not no expert on fishing. Um, a lot of the fish in here, sometimes I catch stuff, I don't even know what they are, and I'm sure I get them wrong. So just tell me what I did wrong, tell me what you think. If you're in the uh, East Tennessee area, tell me a creek that you like fishing in, maybe, maybe one uh, that I could get to and fish.